Hello everybody, welcome back to Dead Space. I am Greg Azard, aka Greg, and we're gonna get as far as we possibly can in this game. Um, so let's fucking do it. Alright, usually somebody says something to me after I come off the tram, but they didn't this time. Um, which, which I find very, very good. But of course there's a fucking audio log, which we will listen to. Hydroponics log, Dr. Elizabeth Cross reporting. I'm pleased to say that we're working close oh, to shit, maximum bro, capacity I love that hydroponics time. shit. All flora is healthy and thriving and food yield has created a surplus. I was going to pass the surplus on to the colony, but the captain has given a no-fly order. I want to note my opposition to that order. Everyone knows they're in trouble down there, and I don't see what denying them our surplus in chief. Shit. That shit came out of the toilet. So, that was El Elizabeth Cross. She's, uh... I guess one of the um, people who make food here uh, via hydroponically grown vegetables and, and plants that feed people on the Ishimura. But she wanted to give some food to the, the colony because she heard something bad was going on. Nothing wrong with that. But what is wrong with that is... Um, well, 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 the situation that's, that, that happened was that the, the captain, Benjamin Matthias, told her no. So, maybe he knows what what is going on in the colony. Maybe he doesn't want anybody to stop it. Maybe he doesn't want people to waste food on people who are dying or, or are dead. Cycle so, who knows, right? I mean, they, they never really tell you exactly what the captain does. Dude, it's me, bro. It's your bro. Good to see you in one piece. Good Don't to see you, fam. Your helmet off. The head's rotten. I gotta look at it. It's huge. You won't believe it. Dude, I know my Shut itself in food storage. Crew that was on this deck. I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. They're like poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Hammond! <coughs> I thought you were dead. But I'm fine because I'm need in to a, get to cleaner air. I'm in a You're suit. not going to be able to help Isaac in your With condition. With its own oxygen. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right, there's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. Poor Hammond. He's like literally like dying of like oxygen deprivation. That's the door to food storage. But I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the door to food storage. I know. So. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to kill this big thing that's on the ship. Well, we gotta get to it first, and um, we we need to use like a chemical to get rid of a door. That's blocking the way to it. So, hopefully, we can get it without dying. Because <laughs> cause that's the goal, right? To just to not die. Alright, so I got some pulse rounds to get rid of. I got some force energy. I'll keep it. I have a lot of pulse rounds. I definitely do. So, we're, we're good for now. Yeah. So how, how is everybody enjoying this shit? 
Because I'm in jail. I should be glad that Ham's alive, but I still don't trust him. I think he's hiding something about the marker. Bitch, I think you're hiding something about the marker. In fact, I know it because I've played this game before. <laughs> She's definitely hiding something. Like, it's not known at this point in the game. But you're like, why is she trying to set Hammond up? Like, to look bad. He, all he's been doing this entire time has been helping us. And saying he doesn't know what he doesn't know. By the way, I you don't want to walk into these things because they'll they'll hurt you. It's like hot steam or hot water or something. Even though I'm wearing a fucking suit, like you know, like it could be anything. I don't know what kind of stuff it's spraying on me. But, but yeah, so we got to go kill like a big mini boss that's on the ship. But before we do that. We gotta go kill those things. The things that have giant ball sacks on the backs. And they're poison in the air. They're, they're the crew from the hydroponics area where they were growing food, see? Like this this stuff. Like they're they're growing plants. So this whole place is covered in plants. And I think most of it, like this stuff, like those are pumpkins. I don't know about you, but I couldn't eat pumpkin pie all the time. I don't know about it. I don't know about anybody else. Tomatoes, pumpkin pie, squash. It's not a big. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I am a carnivore. I like I like I like steak, I like burgers, I like tacos. And uh You know what's so weird is that uh I I, I have I've seen something where um, scientists have actually, well, I've heard about it, actually from Pokeru, where uh, certain uh, scientists, genetic scientists, I guess, I guess you would call them geneticists, uh, found out that you can take a, a tiny bit of material from like a cow, without killing it, mind you, and then use that material to grow meat. Like, you can grow a steak. And I'm not sure if it has to do with stem cells or anything, but like, you know, like, d does everybody have to be a vegetarian? No. Like, if you're in space, does everybody have to be a vegetarian? No. Like, but that's just what they, when this game came out, that's, those were the scientific advancements that happened. Like, like, yeah, you, they found out you can grow, you can grow plants in space, but you need water and you need a sufficient su supply of oxygen and, uh, you know, and light to grow them. But then, after, I'm pretty sure after this game came out, the article came out on some kind of, some kind of website, like, scientists have grown meat, and it's like, well, how do you grow meat? And then they explained it, and yeah, that can happen. It's crazy. But it means, like, you don't have to kill an animal just to eat meat. You can just, you can just take, like, a little slice off of it, and it's only one animal, and with that, you can, you can grow, uh, a steak. You can, you, you can grow a steak dinner. You know, so... I'm pretty sure there's one of these things in here, so that's why I froze it. Uh, new? But there is a health pack. I think there's one in here later, but you have to go kill the other guys first. So. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, and I, I guess I gotta go. Nope, I don't. I gotta go this way. Let's 
So yeah, so once you enter a room, when these guys that are poisoned in the air are in it, uh, your oxygen meter goes down. And you can actually save ammo and just hor horribly curb stomp them. And it's about, yeah, it's like three, three curb stomps. Well, I hear something. I'm gonna go this way. I mean, I, I wouldn't want an animal to die just so, I can, just so I can eat. But if I if I like meat and I don't like and if I don't like veggies, and there was a way to grow meat without killing the animal. If you like animals, like, wouldn't, wouldn't you think that would be a good idea? And I, I know people have heard a lot about GMO as, like, genetically modified food. But, like, this, this gives you the option, like, you don't have to kill an animal to have the meat that it contains. You can... You can use bioengineering and genetics to make the same meat and grow it. And I, I think that's, I mean, that's pretty groundbreaking. But anyway, uh, <laughs> anybody has any comments about that? Uh, let me know. Uh, They kill you so fast, like, they, they literally do. I think I just used my big health pack. Yep, yeah, that's fine, I got a bunch more. Alright, so we gotta go up here. Right? Yeah. Warning. Toxics detected in atmosphere processing. A repair technician has been notified. I am a good boy. I am a brave boy. I am a good brave boy. <laughs> just, just, I, I will, I, I will, I will do things you say. Just, just please do not call me Kunta Quinte. Your name is Tobe. Your Kunta Quinte. Your name is Tobe. Isaac. Make us whole again. Make us whole again. Oh, hey, buddy. Here's a good way to save ammo. Just shoot him with this shit. Do not call me Kunta Kinte. How dare you? Do you know my ancestors? We're black. Do you know that? I'm like, I'm like one thirty. 33% black. Oh, I fucking hate these things. I don't even know what to call them. Sure there's any other name, but, uh... I, I, I'll just call them bat fuckers. Even though they don't fuck bats, but they look like bats. So I'll call them bat fuckers. Take that, you bat fuckers. Kunta, <laughs> kite. Uh, yeah, so, we're getting money, there's a cup. I think there's eight of these guys, and, and one of them is in zero gravity, oh boy, these things are awesome, I think these are the, this is the first time you, 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 uh, come across these, these things, they, uh, they're sort of like kamikazes, uh, they just run into you load with these giant rolling sacks on them. And they just basically run into you and then they throw those sacks on the ground and then they ex explode. And they do a shit ton of damage and, it, and it's very not cool. And I do not approve. Yeah, this is the part that I don't like. <laughs> 
This is the is the zero gravity. You have to Engine time everything very specifically. Why am I, why am I doing that? All right. Come on. Oh look, there's a box. What's in here? Health. Uh, I don't need it. Right now. So yep, I'm gonna use the kinesis, mo kinesis module. Killing them straight up, just like shooting at their bodies. Fuck them. All right, there's a part coming up where I have where where I have to stop the electricity or something like that. There's there's like a there's like an electrical arc that's preventing me from going where I need to go. So I go through here. And then there's a part coming up. Where I have to do that. Like, I literally have to stop ele an electrical arc. But I, I don't do it with the, um, what you think. I, I actually have to turn it off. But then I have to time it specifically by running around it and not dying. Which is really, really hard, because, I mean, I've upgraded the stasis module, like, which is the crazy thing, like, as far as it can go, by this point. But it, it only gives you, like, 10-15 seconds. Hello? Security? Thank God. This is Dr. Croft in hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Gotta love that hydroponics, son. I can't get through to engineering. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. I'm no, we're the, safe for now, the but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pod. Hello? Okay. Hello? Oh shit, why did that happen? Why did I, why did I get blown up? Oh. Probably because I had one of those explosive things. I have plenty of ammo. Plus, otherwise, I would just have to run up to them and, and slap them. There's another one to somewhere. Oh, right here. Oh, that's too much. Oh, fuck. I missed it. I can get it, though, from here. Watch this shit. Watch how fucking skillful I am at this game. Totally got it. All right, so I gotta wait this, wait till this thing is done. Oh uh, boy, oh uh, boy. Wait too long. No, I'm not gonna fuck with you. I'm just gonna run, 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 run. run. I did it. I'm, a, I'm a good boy. Come on, come on, dude. Just fucking die. It's like a glitch that you can actually uh, kill them by stopping on them. I think it wants the game wants you to kill these guys with um with a gun with a gun. Cause like if you go and try to get around them and kill them, they don't die. But you have to be in front of them to kill them. Which leads me to believe that the people who made the game were just like. Oh, gee, you can't step on him. You might as well, uh, shoot him. Yeah. I think there's some good items in here. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a power node and there's some health. Yep, power node. Money. And then... Then where do we go? Where do we go now? Um, I gotta find a save station. trying to keep this video under 30 minutes um, so so YouTube 
doesn't hate me. So hopefully I can get to a save station before before I run out of time. I, well, what I mean by that is, um, like people who are watching the videos on YouTube aren't watching a very long playthrough. Like tw like 25 minutes, you know, 20 some something minutes isn't that long of a, a video to watch. And it's like 20 something minutes of your life, right? As opposed to like a half of half of an hour, which it, you know would seem longer, right? I'm not sure if I'm gonna find a. Yeah, there has to be. Yeah. Oh boy. You know what? This is this is gonna happen. All the things. All the bad things. Mr. Potato Man. You're dead. You're dead. All the things you love are dead. Fucking God. I hate the baby things. I hate the potato guys. The big fat guys. I'm just forever gonna call them potato guys because I think it's fucking funny that my buddy Ken who was watching me was just like, dude, they look like giant potatoes. I'm like, huh? oil them, mash them, stick them in a stew, right? There's gotta be a save point. What I what I need to do is, is backtrack. And I think that's this one. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. No, yeah, this is where I need to go to save. But... I appreciate anybody who's watching right now on, on Twitch, and I'm I'm glad you're watching me. I, I enjoy this game very much, and I, I actually enjoy it when people watch me. So so thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you would like to check out more of my videos, um, you know check my Twitch, uh, but also check out my YouTube channel. Polkaroo and Gregazard Gaming. And you'll find more of my videos. Uh, right after this, I'm going to play Resident Evil. So hopefully that'll be f fun and enjoyable. And hopefully I'll see, see everybody there in a couple minutes from now. Alright? So this is Gregazard signing off. Hope to catch you on the flip side.